Hello, 8060M Dennis here in Stockton on a Saturday. I think today is July 13th, 2019. And uh, today, what I'm going to try to do is make a CW key, otherwise known as a Morse code key, from 3D printing and some screws, wires, and a little stereo connector so that I don't have to do any soldering or wiring of, uh, of cables. You just pick up one of these, uh, these little stereo extension cables and uh, use that with it. So Let's see how this works out. Um, the thing that I pulled down from Thingiverse is very uh, it has these uh, 6 by 32 screws that I don't have, so I'm going to be trying out some metric screws and see how those work. So, without further ado, let's get going. So, to start off, here are some parts. Printed out the paddles in a different color than the case. And the case itself is pretty cool. Um, so like the grounding post goes here, these two paddles will go here, and it has a little space here in the back for the stereo connector, uh, 1 8 inch um, stereo jack. So like I said before, it's going to use something like this. With, uh, and from my wiring CW keys before, I know that this is the ground at the base or what they call the sleeve. The tip is, uh, I believe, dit, or the left side. And the sleeve, this middle part here, is the da, or the right side. So, this is a little stereo connector that we have for, for those. And I've uh, done some testing, but I'll show some testing here what it looks like. See if I can figure out how to do this hands free. But this top pin here is ground. This I found out on the left here is tip. And then this on the right here is ring. So that's going to go in here. Hopefully it fits. Uh oh. So it's good print design because it fits very well, and then of course I'm going to have to use glue to put it in there. But um, let me show you how I tested for this. So I pull out my trusty multimeter and a cable, and I will plug the cable in here. And I have the other end of the cable here. I put the meter on... Uh, continuity. This is like the little symbol for uh, continuity and uh, diode testing. As far as I understand, I'm not well versed in these terminologies. but So I'll take that and I'll just listen for the sound. So I'll take one of these. Uh, I just lost two of the pieces. <laughs> so let's take this one right here. I'll just put that right there. Touch that. That's one of the pins. And if I touch it, it tells me that that's the tip connector. If I go to the side here, ground, or what they call sleeve, and then this one right here on the other side is going to be ring, which is the middle. So that's how I know what is what. And I just have to make sure that I remember to orient it right. And so that was tip, ground, ring. And that would, I just remember that when I'm soldering the wires. And then I just wanted to show you as well this thing right here. Bought a bunch of uh, these rare earth magnets. And I'm going to use these magnets with the uh, yeah, the thing here. So paddles will sit like this. Oops. Right. So here I am trying to uh, 
glue the magnets on there. I used Gorilla Glue by recommendation from KG5OCW Greg. And uh, you need to clamp Gorilla Glue, so I just used an alligator clip, letting it cure right now. And I'll put it all together and give it a try. Well, here it is. It's the uh, best I could do here. <laughs> But I soldered uh, the wire connections to the TRS thing and then I uh, used a bunch of screws from my screw collection here. They're uh, varying M3 screws and they seem to work well. I just have to put the top on. Uh, having these magnets is uh, extremely difficult. It makes things really hard because they jump they really don't want to be together. And uh, got the ground screw here in the bottom. And uh, let's put it all together and see how it goes. This little adjustment still needs to happen here. Uh, right now, really too close together. So I'll, I'll screw them in a little bit more and give it a try. And just so you can see how it would look, let me see if I could do this one-handed. Let's put that there. There. That's kind of how it goes. See, you see a lot of play right now. I'm going to have to screw that in quite a bit. Well, it looks like it might work.